in life. Hey, everyone. Um, so I hope I'm just in time. Uh, first of all, I would like to let you know that we're very happy we reached 250,000 followers on Instagram. So I saw this while waking up this morning and I thought this is a good opportunity to check in live and um, to let you know that this is awesome. So everyone who's watching this, thanks a lot for that. I probably won't be the only one joining. I already see something here. Who is this? What's happening? Hey. Oh, people sending requests to join this live video. <laughs> I don't think so, but I'm waiting on someone else. Um, either way, so yeah, thanks for all the support. Um, so I'm here to tell you a little about what's going on in our camp. Um, so as you might have seen, we are in the middle of writing the new album. Um, so yeah, we've been writing songs individually. And then now is the time to put them on the table and everyone in the band will be starting to work on each other's ideas and um, yeah so I guess after the re-release tour for Design Your Universe we will be heading over to the studio to do some pre-production and then uh, next year we're gonna record the album and uh, yeah that's about it so it's exciting new stuff it's been a while so uh, well, maybe not, but it feels like it's been a while and, and that's great, you know, so uh, yeah, if you follow us, I guess you already saw that um, we're in the middle of that. And then, as I said, after that, we go on this tour in a month, we're on the road again, we have a couple of shows in Europe. It actually got out of hand, to be honest, because we, we just wanted to do some, um, like a handful of shows for uh, Design Your Universe, the re-release, and then before we knew it, it's like a whole month of touring, which is great, of course, but since I just said we're in the middle of writing new stuff, it might, you know, it's, it's kind of good, but then again, it's gonna make us do other things than the stuff we're supposed to do maybe i don't know <laughs> either way um so yeah we go on that tour we also have the book coming out and um what else yeah the tour is also early next year we do a couple of shows in north america as well so um exciting times i guess and if any of you have questions about all of this um, just let me know and I'll try to see what's happening down there and uh, try to get back to you so if you have any questions just shoot and hi to everyone from wherever you're watching um, and um, yeah so the pre-orders, we had really good reactions on that. It was good fun to <clears throat> also record the acoustic versions of a couple of songs for Design Your Universe. It's always great to, um, yeah, to go over the same songs in a different way. And I think along the years we've, we've become better at doing that and it's just good fun. And it's like no pressure for an album. There's always a lot of pressure and everything has to be spot on. And with these acoustic sessions, it's always a little, you know, a, a little more jolly. And uh, not that we don't go into detail, but, but it's just like, okay, this is just a bonus for the re-release. And let's just have a good time, play together. It's one big jam session at Sand Lane Recording Facilities in the studio. We take a couple of days there and uh, we just... Of course, we know what we're going to record up front, but... Um, oh, there was a question right here. Uh, if we play Attack on Titan songs in Europe, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's a re-release 
tour. So mainly the focus will be on the Design Your Universe uh, album, obviously. But apart from that, we're gonna play a mixture of all the albums. Attack on Titan, however, is an EP, so it's not really a full album. And uh, we do get a lot of requests from people to actually um, play that stuff, but we'll see what happens. I have a lot to practice because I'm trying to write songs, but then <laughs> I see the set list for these special shows and then I'm like, ah, there's so much, uh, so much stuff going on. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> so Galupas, you're asking, or she, he, I don't know. What are your current inspirations for the new album? Could be anything, really. Um, sometimes it's just a groove. Sometimes I pick up the guitar and I fool around and then I have one riff and that's how it all starts. Sometimes I hear something in my head while doing that or, or just playing piano. Not that I'm good at piano, but um, I just fool around with a couple of chords and then stuff happens. But there is a lot of days that nothing happens where you're... I'm in my home studio right now and uh, so I could be here all day and then end of the night I'm like, nah, this wasn't a good day or, um, or I think that I have a great idea and then the next day I listen back to it and it's... Um, not that great so then it ends in the garbage bin and uh yeah so um oh this is cool you can see all the questions hmm. i'm new to this so sorry about that and there's people keeping they want to be in this video apparently um, so will you play the whole Design Your Universe album for these upcoming shows? Kind of, um, but it wouldn't be us if, if there wouldn't be something special or uh, out of the ordinary about it. So we, we definitely gonna play, the main focus will be on that album. Um, we know that a lot of you out there uh, love this album and it's a very it's very dear to me as well because it's the first album i did uh, when i joined epica and uh, so i was like thrown in into the deep so to speak and uh, you know looking back on it it was it was actually really great to have all the like everyone in the band was very open-minded for my ideas and I, I was like you know I'm just gonna do whatever I feel I want to do or I would do with the songs they already had and um, yeah they pretty much pretty much gave me all all the how you say that in English uh, the trust I guess yeah they, they trusted my uh, opinion on what the songs needed um, and someone else is asking if we expected su such a big reaction when we released Design Your Universe. Well, uh, I didn't because, you know, I expected that people would be very sad that Alt left the band, which they were obviously, but I was like, okay, so this is the first thing I'm going to do for the band. I hope they will like it. And so I was really happy, really pleased that um, people seemed to like what I did on the new album and... Um, yeah, so that that's been great, and as I said, it's it's kind of a for a lot of people, it's e either the first album they heard or or still one of their favorite Epica albums, and um, yeah, so I think it's dear to everyone, also for us, uh, for the band. Uh, can we expect instrumental orchestral version of that album? No. This is a re-release, so it's not an official new full album release, and that's why... Uh, so instead of just getting the same album, printing it again, and then selling it again, it's uh, we thought it's been 10 years, so instead of just do a reprint, we're gonna do a remix, remaster. Um, 
and then record the extra acoustic songs and that's it so there's there's not nothing else but have you checked the pre-orders there's some cool merch as well um, um, which band that isn't metal do you like hmm. oh man there's so many I also uh, I always have to think back of my my parents they had great taste in music still have uh, so I grew up listening to the music that my parents listened to which is Pink Floyd the Beatles Elton John I went to Elton John's last show in Belgium by the way um, what else Tina Turner Dire Straits John Hyatt all, the, all those kind of old golden oldies will you record a dvd about the design your universe tour no we won't we have too much stuff going on can't have it all right no i mean like i said it was kind of a yeah let's do a, a remix remaster let's record some bonus things and let's do a handful of shows and that pretty much got out of hand so um we try to keep it small but uh, you guys always ask for more which is good you know <laughs> but uh, so no we won't record a DVD for that one hey Mareke uh, what else check out my band Behind the Veil I will Behind the Veil I think I've heard of that band. So everyone check out Behind the Veil. They're awesome. Because they watch this live uh, thingy. Any chance to play a new song on the next tour? Nope, that's way too early because we're still in the writing phase. And as I said, we just started sharing our ideas. We always... Uh, uh, start our songs or we start the writing individually so all the boys in the band are writing music that is and the lyrics are for mark and simone and um so yeah now we're putting everything together so we don't have a finished product yet that that's gonna take another i don't know six months or something mm. Blah, blah, blah. There's a smart guy saying behind you there is a guitar. Oh, there's more than one. There's some right there as well. Where is the others? Are you Epica alone? <laughs> no, I'm not Epica alone. But the others are, I don't know where they are. But I thought, you know, as I said, 250,000 followers and I thought I might gonna join them I know that Simone did a live session as well a couple of weeks ago so and uh, people seem to like that so that's why I decided to do the same thing but of course there is six of us and uh, maybe they're watching I don't know actually How much did you contribute to design your universe? Well, not, not, not at all as far as songwriting um, is concerned because the songs were basically written. So all the basic structures were there and, and all the songs were there. And um, so what I did was basically, I got the demos and yeah, just spiced it up and did whatever, or put very black and white, I kind of wiped out the guitar parts and started all over again and just looked at whatever I would do and um, and not everything was used for that so it was a back and forth between everyone in the band and like oh this riff is maybe cooler the way you did it and that part can be changed and you know so it was like well, we're based in four different countries, so 
obviously it's not the easiest thing for us to like any normal band would do to go to a rehearsal space and rehearse for a couple of months so that that's not something we can do um, so everything was done via email basically so I would work on stuff then I would bounce my ID send it back to the band they would get back to me and I would change it again or you know spice it up whatever yeah mm. how do you decide the places for your tours well it depends, you know, sometimes, well, for for an album cycle, if you start an album cycle, you pretty much know that you're going to play Europe, you're going to play North America, you're going to play Latin America, that's for sure, and sometimes, or usually we would do two runs for one album, so that's six tours already, and then in between you you would have the festivals, the summer festivals, then you might have some Russia, maybe a dedicated UK run, maybe Australia, Asia. And um, how we decided is pretty much like we start with that. That's the basic skeleton of, of a world tour. And then when offers come in, in an area that you don't really play that much, you just see which other areas you can play while you are there. So that's pretty much how it goes. Who's your hero in music? <laughs> uh, well, Dimebag Daryl of Pantera, that would be definitely one of them. Uh, he has had a huge impact on, on my youth. Uh, I grew up listening to Vulgar Display of Power, Cowboys from Hell. I saw them back in 2001 and still to this day it's the best, uh, absolutely the best show I've ever ever seen. Uh, just the attitude on stage was amazing and um, yeah great band and I think you know toward the end I didn't like the music that much anymore, but he is just such a great player and I never met him personally, but from what I hear from other people, he was a really, really nice guy as well. And then, well, other influences I would say would be Steve, uh, Dave Gilmer from Pink Floyd. I like his tone, I like the way he phrases. He doesn't use a lot of notes, but they're the right notes at the right time. Same goes for Slash, um, he's not really a shred guy, but, but it's very, yeah, again, the, the, the right note at the right time. And I don't consider myself actually as a, a shred guitar player, I also like to focus on a melody, unless the solo or song asks for something else, but uh, yeah. So those are my heroes, and also Tommy Emanuel for acoustic guitar. He's absolutely great. Mm. When can we listen to the new album? When it's finished, of course. It's, it's not gonna be finished until probably end of next year. Uh, which music I listen to in my car. Um, I have a whole bunch of albums there and I would listen to Soil Work, um, Dima Borgir, Aeternam, a, a unknown Canadian band, which is great. Um, James Labrie Project, you know, some, some progressive shit. And then what else? There was Kun Janssen. How do I add Kun Janssen? How do I do this? Hmm. Shit. How do I add someone? Where is he? 
Oh, maybe here. Oh, here. Go live with Kun Janssen. I hope this works. It's connecting. <laughs> he finally got it. How long have you been waiting? Half an hour. Half an hour. <laughs> Mark is here as well. Oh, add him too. Should I add Mark as well? Of course. Oh, oh okay. Wait. Every, everybody was laughing at you because you were reading the questions from yesterday. <laughs> and we were all spamming our funny stories in between. You're so funny. Yeah, there are a hundred people or more now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I think you can only do two. Oh, so no. maybe I should leave and then you can add Mark. <laughs> and then Mark can add you again and I can add Mark. But if I leave, then... Then nobody is on the Epica official anymore. Exactly. So how do we going to do that? I'm going to be here for 10 minutes. If Mark stays awake, then he can take over, maybe. Okay, cool. So yeah. it's your turn, Kun. Say yeah, I, don't know if, I don't know if Mark is up for that. Maybe he's naked and sitting on the toilet. I don't know. So, okay. Mark, if you can please say something, if you're okay with that. Hello, everybody. Ah, Isaac and Kunstal is okay. Well, so that means he's on the toilet or something. <laughs> so how are you doing, everybody? I want a new well, album. Well, you, you can buy a new album in the store. There are plenty of new albums every day. Hello, Colombia. I'm just so, going to relax a bit. Yeah, you're just hanging back in the chair and looking at your guitar. Awesome. Oh, great. I'm having a beer. I just uh, came back from my... Uh... Oh, in 10 minutes, Mark is having dinner. Wow. Not going to happen, Mark. And then I'm going to go now and give you Mark for 10 minutes, and then he can give it to me back. Okay, cool. Bye. Yes, that's the deal. That's the deal. Ciao. Uh...